guys, it's Kaylin and today me and my mom are in the kitchen and we decided to make a cheesecake. And ma and we have already done a bit of the recipe. So my mom is going to mix the ingredients here. The ingredients here are cream cheese, gelatin powder, boiling water, sugar and vanilla extract. So I'll show you right now. So here it is. And my mom's gonna mix it right now. The cheesecake is, the top layer is a uh, jelly, and then the cheesecake, and then the base coat is biscuit. It's a chocolate biscuit. Okay. Yep. So it goes all the way in. Baking is really fun. Now I have to do this slowly because it might splash. Yep. So I'll stand a bit back because I'm scared it'll get to the camera. Ooh. Like it's getting to the side. Good. And scrape down the side so we get it all. And I'll mix it up again. Just mix it until it's all blended together, and that's it. Yay! So you could probably do this on a blender, actually. Yeah. We didn't need to do use a mixer. So what do we have to do now? Now. To bubbles. Sorry, guys. Okay. okay. There's me, bubbles in it. Let me just see. No, it's alright. <coughs> Looks nice. Okay, so now we're gonna get the cream cheese, uh, the the base that we've made earlier. Fill the um biscuit base. Biscuit base. Okay, I'm just pouring this into um. The, the measuring cup to make it easier to pour into the mold because it has because we're making mini there. cheesecakes today did we say what we're making actually we're making i just said a cheesecake we're making jelly cheesecakes yeah so here is the base out of the fridge and it looks a bit like red velvet but actually it's a tiger biscuit tiger biscuit uh, <laughs> it's not called tiger you. biscuit we should yeah show you what it looks like. It's not really called the Tiger Biscuit because I say Tiger Biscuit because... This is what the biscuit is. It's actually a malted chocolate biscuit. It's really yummy. And as you it's can see, um, the biscuit, it says Tiger. That's why I call it Tiger Biscuit. Okay, so let's get on with the pouring. Yay! Okay, you don't want to pour too much. I think we got too much base. Yeah. Whoops. We don't want to fill it too much because we still have to put the jelly in. Yeah, but I think our base is a little too thick. Never mind. This is just an experiment. So if it turns out we may do it again next time, but hopefully better. Do you like more of the cheesecake or do you like more of the jelly, Kaylin? Um, I think cheesecake because I like cream cheese. What about you? Um, I like jelly. <laughs> Cause I like jelly. <coughs> Too much. What should we do? Um, um, we we'll just add a little bit more. Well, we can just make that into a cheesecake with no uh, base. Yeah, let's do that. And jelly. A giant cheesecake. Oh yeah. Yummy. <laughs> That's pretty, if we have, that's pretty giant. Like. Yeah. If we have enough um, jelly, we may put the jelly on top into that bowl. Scrape every last bit. You don't want to waste it. Yep. My hand is covering. I can now, I can see here. 
So it is really, really fun baking. Okay. All right. So now that's just gonna go straight in the fridge. So it's to yep. cover it until it's fun. Then we can put the jelly on. Yay! So okay. But how long do we have to take it in for? Put it in for the fridge for about two hours mm. until it's set. Or else, when you put the jelly in, it's just gonna get mixed up with the cream cheese. I don't think that would be a good idea. Yeah. So we'll film it again after that. So we just rested for one hour, and now we're ready to make the jelly. Yay! The jelly to put on top of the cheesecake. Okay. Yeah. So this is the jelly that we got. We're using Jello grape. Great flavor. Mm. So we put the we need to put three quarters of a cup of water. This is hot water. Boiling water. So three, three quarters. quarters. I'll make. Three quarters. No, a tiny bit more. Um, no, I don't know. Okay, that'll do. Yep. Okay. Now. We have to put the. You gonna open it for me? Jello mixture in. Yeah, I'll now ready to pour it in. Smells really good. Smells like grape. So that's the inside. Okay, let's pour it in. All right. Yep, all of it. Oh, look at the purple. Whoa, that's cool. Not so high. Don't want to get it everywhere. Yeah. Now I'll throw this up. Get it okay. Ooh, it looks good. Yeah. I wonder if the cheesecake has set yet. Because my mom says we don't want to do it for two hours. We're just going to wait for one hour. Because they're small cheesecakes. Has, yeah, and it has already been one hour. So we're just going to stir this until it's... Pretty much dissolved. There's no like lumps. It still hasn't dissolved. Okay, so now I'm gonna pour three quarters of a cup of cold water. And then we're just gonna stir again. And that's it for the jelly pot. Okay. Okay, it's not hot anymore, so we can pour it straight into our jelly. I mean, not jelly, cheesecake. Cheesecake. Okay. Okay. So here's the cheesecake. The big one. And now I'll go and take the big... The These small are the one. small ones. And now I'm going to take the big ones out. So we take off the cling wrap. Let's see if the cake is... Oh yeah, it's firm already. So, I'm going to go ahead and pour the jelly mix in. If we have enough, it should be able to pour. We definitely have way more. I don't even know what we're going to do with this. Here are these two. I'll take out the cling wrap. <laughs> okay. Give me a mix. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to pour this in really gently. have to put this in the fridge probably for another like 10 minutes no like an, at least another hour so we can't oh. have this until like dessert time oh so we're just gonna fill all the way to the top hmm, i thought we could like eat it like sooner no jelly takes a while to solidify <coughs> that's you such a pretty really color gentle with this as you guys can see, the color is really dark. It's meant to be dark because if you are not, if I'm not filming, it's also dark. But it's such a pretty, like a plum, grape color. Yeah. Beautiful. And it smells really like grape. And of course, you can use any any color jelly you want. Yeah, you can use any flavor. Just but we're just gonna use the one that we have. Yeah, it just happens we have this one in the cupboard. And these two are going to have a lot of jelly. Yes, because, because <laughs> leftover. 
See if I can top up any of these other ones. Mm. See, they're awful. Yeah. They're awful. We don't want to waste any jelly, do we? Yeah. We don't want to waste anything. <coughs> okay. So that's it. Now I'm going to cover it back up with clear up. So this is okay. what they look like. So right now the cheesecake has already set and we're going to show you. So here are the cheesecakes. They're all set. See? They're all set. And they're not going anywhere. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try and take it out now. Yeah, ho. Oh. Ready? So I'm just pushing from the bottom. Already. And it's coming out. Okay, so that's what it looks oh. like when it comes out. Pretty or not? So, out. So, mom. Why is it so wobbly? Yeah, it's supposed to be wobbly. No, why is the jelly so like Yeah, it is. Weird? So, that layer that I'm pointing to. Wait, it's not focusing. So, that. Keep doing it. Okay. So, this layer is the grape jelly. Then, here is the cheesecake mixture then here's the biscuit so it looks Beautiful. really cool so that's it that's the end of our cooking in total there are 12 cheesecakes and so, i'm gonna eat it now so it has come to the end of this video and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe down below to my channel. Bye!